Do something in aviation, take the photos and videos yourself, post it, and stop stealing from everybody. My guess is you're too lazy to go do that. You're participating in a scam on Instagram and you probably don't even know it. And you know, it's something I'd known for a while, but something happened last week that pushed me over the edge. Now, if I had 60 seconds in an elevator with Mark Zuckerberg, I could explain to him why his company is losing millions of dollars because of these parasites, but I haven't had that opportunity yet. Now, this game applies to anybody. It can be an aviation, flight attendants, cabin crew, it applies to cars, it applies to models, it applies to really any niche topic. But specifically, since I know aviation, I'm gonna be talking about that. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name's Kelsey, I fly a 747, and my channel 74 Gear is all about aviation. First, I'm gonna to explain to you how the scam works, and then I'm gonna to explain to you why you should care and what you can do about it. Here's several large Instagram pages. Now, what you might notice is they have a lot of followers, but you also notice a majority of the content isn't even theirs. Without getting deep in how Instagram works, if someone is posting two or three photos or videos every day, and you're liking those photos, Instagram is seeing that and saying, wow, this must be very cool content. So I'm gonna share this Instagram page to other people who like this topic. And that's how these Instagram pages grow so quickly. So that may be how you found my Instagram page. You may have liked another aviation picture and then Instagram said, oh, well, if you like that, you may like this, and then you find mine. So take that basic concept and put it on steroids, and that's basically what these scammers are doing. During my two weeks of flying around the world, I'm able to usually grab enough photos or videos to be able to post two or maybe three times a week throughout the month, including on my days off when I'm not flying. However, these parasites that are sitting at home every day, all they're doing is stealing, without asking for permission, content from me, other crew members, pilots, flight attendants, and whoever they want, stealing it without permission, and then sharing it, and then crediting it, and thinking that that's an acceptable way to give credit to the people. That's not how it works. And because they're able to share two or three times a day, Instagram is more likely to recommend that page because they're saying, oh wow, this person is putting out a lot of content. It doesn't really realize that it's all stolen information. Now there are some pages out there that will ask for permission before resharing. And obviously that is a totally different scenario. Or if you have a page where people are sending you stuff asking you to share it, that's another different scenario. But that's not what's happening in a lot of the cases which I showed you earlier. And I'm not even talking about the people who have stolen my photos and tried to use my image to grow an Instagram account. Let me tell you, using my photos, Daz, is not gonna get you anywhere on Instagram. Trust me. So step one of the scam is steal a bunch of crew members' photos. Flight crew and cabin crew, steal it all, put it all together, and start pushing out content two to three times a day. Now that that's done, you go to step two of the scam. Now that these scammers have hundreds of thousands of followers, everything that they push out onto their Instagram gets pushed to you and you're more likely to see it. So now that they have that channel, what they do is try to sell you stupid bracelets or lamps or t-shirts that you have no interest in buying. Or if they're big enough, they'll sell that account, change the name and give it to somebody else so they can sell you a different service or product in that niche. Here's a great example. A flight attendant, Jenny, recorded this video. However, on her Instagram, it got 3,000 views. But the flight school that stole this video got 120,000 views. Now, they didn't build this account up by stealing photos. They built it because they bought it from another account that was stealing photos, which I'm gonna get to in a second. Did they credit her? Yeah, they did. But these lazy bitches who are stealing their video are propelling their Instagram growth a lot faster because of the size and the volume of their account, which again, they bought. If they hadn't stolen her video, then there's more likely of a chance for other people to see it and share it and grow her personal Instagram page, which is obviously what most people are trying to do. In this flight school didn't even make this account. They bought it from another account that was stealing videos and pictures from other flight crew members and cabin crew members. I mean, how lazy can you be? You're a flight school. Take photos and videos of your flight school, the services that you deliver, instead of stealing from flight crew and cabin crew and posting the photos up to grow your Instagram profile with just crediting them. Would I be able to send my friends to your flight school and then on their license, I just credit your flight school for you teaching them how to fly? No, that wouldn't be how it worked. Now, I realize that's kind of an extreme example, but it's the same concept. You're not asking for permission to take their content. You're just taking it and then sharing it. And hopefully the pricing and the way you treat your students is in the same way of taking as much as you can and giving as little as you can. Now here's why you should care. Besides the fact that these cockroaches are stealing other people's information and making money off of other people's hard work, there's something that really pushed me over the edge last week. A couple weeks ago, I was speaking to a friend of mine. He's an airline pilot, and there's a lot of airline pilots that are sitting at home right now. They can't work because COVID is in full blast. And I was talking with him, and I had the idea of making a video to give away a couple thousand dollars to guys to make a flight sim video. 
Because of COVID, I can't go home and I thought this would be a cool way if people send in a video and I'll pick some winners, I'll let you all vote for it. Now that I've actually recorded that video and it's done, I was gonna post it on Sunday. But because of everything that's going on, I've been so irritated about this that I just couldn't post that right away. I'm posting this video first. I posted that video on my YouTube for about three days and got hundreds of emails from people showing me video clips of them playing a flight sim. Then I put it on my Instagram and I reached out to a lot of Instagram pages and I said, hey, listen, there's a lot of pilots that aren't working right now. I'm trying to do something to give back to the aviation community. Can you please share this story that I'm trying to do to promote people to do stuff at home with aviation so that way they can stay at home and maybe make some money. When I reached out to all these pages that love aviation, the response was either they read it or ignored it or they wanted money from me in order to promote me giving money away. Now there were several Instagram pages that shared that story which was very cool and I talk about it in the video that will come out next week. However, there were a lot more that ignored it because they're more busy about what they can take from you than giving back to the aviation community. Now this isn't about my self-righteousness because anybody who knows me and knows my past knows that I've made mistakes in the past, I've broken the law, I've done things that are illegal, so it's not about that. What it's about is that you're stealing from an aviation community and then you're trying to either sell back accounts or sell products to them after you've stolen from them and you don't want to give anything back. The idea of taking content from flight crew and cabin crew, taking that content for free without permission and then trying to sell something back to them is ridiculous to me. You see, if you're a new pilot or you're a new flight attendant and you want to promote your Instagram and you reach out to these companies that are taking all of your content for free and posting out the videos of aviation, but not you, but they're taking that information and not really trying to push and grow aviation, they just want to take, take, take. When you reach out to them and say, hey, listen, I'm making videos or I'm doing a tutorial on how flight attendants can get their job or whatever it is, when you reach out to them to promote that, you know what they say? Oh yeah, I can promote that, but I'm I want 300 or I want $500. So wait a second. You're going to take my content without my permission and then when I want to promote something about aviation, you're going to charge me to promote it? No. Don't be the China of Instagram. You see, back when, before things blew up with COVID, Italy donated a bunch of masks to China. But then when Italy had their problem, China wanted to sell those masks, the exact same masks that Italy donated to them, they wanted to sell them back to Italy. And I already hear some of you saying, oh, well, you take these Hollywood versus reality, you're taking these other meme videos, these are other things that people created. Yeah, that's true, I do take them, but I'm using that information to give value. I'm explaining something. I'm sharing some insight to what it's like to be a crew member or something along those lines. These guys are not doing that. They're taking a video, they're taking a picture, and they're posting it, and they're sharing that, and then they're trying to sell you a t-shirt or a bracelet or sell you a shout out to promote something that you're doing to grow aviation or help somebody in aviation. You see, the whole thing behind my account and everything that I'm usually trying to do is give value. I'm always trying to give value in everything that I do. I may be making jokes, I may be telling funny stories in most of my videos, but I'm always trying to give value. These parasites are doing nothing except leeching off of aviation. So what can you do about it? Well, one, you can do exactly what I do, which is if you see a really cool photo on one of these pages, go to the person who made the content and go like and comment on their page. Unfollow these scummy people who are out stealing content. And of course, if you're bored, you can go ahead and mark it as copyright theft on Instagram and maybe their page will get taken down. The next thing you can do is never buy anything from one of these Instagram pages that love aviation and they're just out stealing content and they're selling you t-shirts or key rings. Now it's one thing if there's a content creator that you like and he's making a t-shirt or she's making a shirt or a hat or something like that and you wanna support their channel, that's totally different. That's not what these people are doing. They're stealing the content and then selling stuff back to you. And to all of you Instagram pages that are out there stealing content, if you really love this aviation niche so much, why don't you go to flight school, go become a flight attendant, go become a mechanic, do something in aviation, take the photos and videos yourself, post it and stop stealing from everybody. My guess is you're too lazy to go do that. I hope Instagram shuts down your page and you're stuck with a bunch of your overpriced t-shirts. Go contribute something to society instead of being a parasite in their niche. If you love it so much, go do something in it. Until then, you can eat a bag of...